another video I am putting twists in my hair as a protective style I guess you could call these Senegalese twists but as you can see I just started I've done about three rows and um, I'm coming to show you how I do the really short parts um, of my hair well this is the same method I use on all my hair but the shorter parts of course are a little harder so uh, I'll show you how I do that. The hair that I am using is upside down. Uh, Rasta Free, 100% Konekalon Toyoka Line Malibu Afro Kinky Braid. It's the one that comes with two bundles in a pack. So that's what I use. It's I uh, to me, it's the softest. Um, Connect line. Whenever I'm doing twists and um, I use this kind. I also like the fact that I don't have to taper the ends. You know with box braids you've got to sit there and kind of go through the ends and, and get them from being blunt and stuff like that. With this hair basically I can just brush, brush the ends and it tapers itself so that saves some time. They're really short. I don't know why I wore a black shirt but you can see they're short and the longest one comes like right in my armpit and that's the longest so as I get to the top it'll probably fall like around here so really natural looking um, it looks a lot like my twist used to look when my hair was longer and that's why I like them because it's a little more realistic it's light it's just something that I'll be more apt to wear for a full four weeks which is my goal this is one I have already cut and what I do is when you take it out of the pack, as you can see, it's already looped around. There's a loop. And so I grab it by that loop. Say, when it comes out of the pack, it's like this, but long. And so I take the scissors, cut it that way, and that way I'll use half and then loop that and then twist. I love these. And then the short clips, you'll see how I use those. This. Miel, Miel Organics Edge Gel. You've seen that a lot as well. I use this brush here to brush out the hair. I'm going to do this. This is the, probably the shortest part of my hair right here. The edges here and along this part are the shortest parts of my hair. So definitely will be the hardest. So a part about this much edge gel to the roots and the edges here of course I'm gonna leave out some sideburns so go ahead and get that out of the way different sizes some are like a little smaller than others so for the shorter parts I would try to find the smaller skinnier pieces. They're kind of they kind of come in their own little sections. So I just use one for each section. Hold it near the middle and brush through. Brush out those ends. And then like your real hair, you can be real nice and rough. And get on through there. And then you take it loop it around your section. And make sure your ends are even. So you can have the same amount. Your hair will end at the same time. So what I do, since my hair is short, I braid the root. And then twist. So let me show you. Go around. Take that and go around the base. You have your short section. Braid that. I go around the base again and that's when I divide this section into two. Now I have three pieces and I add my short hair with one of those sections 
and braid until that short hair runs out. Okay. So I've, I've gone a little bit past my hair with the braid. Now I can divide it into two and then flick that wrist and twist. It's like twisting, twist, 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 twist. I feel like there's more hair on one side so I'm making it even. Twist, 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 twist. It's good to start borrowing hair as you get toward the end too. It'll keep it from unraveling. Not that these are really prone to unravel, but it does help even more. So, twist, flick that wrist, twist, flick that wrist, twist, flick that wrist, twist. You'll have a nice strong wrist after this. Don't know if that'll help you in life, but you'll have the bomb twist. Can't nobody take that from you. Can nobody take that from you. Here. So when I come down to film in my filming room, I have to bring my supplies here and I always forget something. Usually I'm on top of it, but I always forget something. So I don't have my scissors, but as you can see, you know, you'll have a little string or strand hanging and just kind of even them up with the others and cut off the excess. And you'll see it's got a nice tapered end I'll probably cut it like around here. Got that about that much. And then we'll put these other ones in time out until we get ready for them. This one might even be shorter than my edge. I don't know. No, it's about the same. All right, detangle. Add some edge gel. To my root is what it looks like it's crinkly and so I'll brush it out so okay I look at it and make sure it's even so as you saw I made a loop around my hair I just draped it over my hair I pull my hair tight twist and I take a section and I start braiding when I come back around, I go around the base of my hair as close to my scalp as possible. Then I go around my base again. And then I start, I twist again. This is when I'm going to divide the Konekalon into three to continue braiding since my hair has run out. And then you can start braiding. And I kind of borrow hair here and there until I get all three sections near the same size. It makes for a a better braid. Let me look in my real mirror, make sure that my hair is in there and behaving itself. Okay, I got it in there. So we're at the point where I'm like maybe a couple braid passes past my real hair. Now I'm ready to divide into two and start twisting. Come on, baby, let's do the twist. Come on, baby, let's do the twist. Take him by the little hand and go like this. I personally wants to hurt and get it done, so my break will be really short. I usually, a lot of times I don't take a break. I just have some something caffeinated and sip on it throughout giving me the energy to get this done. I'll show you my hair. The part down the middle is not that straight, so just kind of ignore that and act like you don't notice that. So here's this half that I'm working on. This is the back. I will be back with the finish results. Hey guys, I'm back. Eight hours later. Yes, it took me eight hours to do these. 
I made them really small. This is probably my smallest set yet and it took eight hours and oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Let me show them to you. Never claimed to be the best parter, but it doesn't look bad. So yes, I can um, wear these up, I can wear them back, and it's giving my hair a nice break from daily styling, which is why this is called a protective style, and um, I really enjoy them, uh, however, I have a problem keeping them in the full of uh, uh, time. I've, I only kept one of those styles in for a month. <laughs> one I kept for three weeks and the other two I kept for two weeks and that's just dumb. No, but really, that's about it. I'm trying to think, I used two packs of the hair, of the um, Kanekalon hair that I showed you. You guys need to check out my next video. I have a huge, a huge announcement. So, were you talking to me?